it going? This is David Crandall with another FL Studio tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to record audio straight into FL Studio. But before I go on with that, I want to let you know that I'm using Fruity Loop Studio 8 Producer Edition. So if you don't have that version, some of the features that are seen in this tutorial may not be available for you. Okay, moving on. Before we can record, we need to get something called ACO for all. You don't necessarily need that particular driver, but this one takes all your sound drivers from any interface that you have, your built-in sound sound driver and sound card that you have built into your computer and it combines those all into one little thing that you could use. So, all you got to do is head over to ACO for like the number 4 all.com. Scroll down a little bit and you'll see ACO for all 2.9 English, French, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, Turkish, Dutch, and Chinese, whichever one you need. All right, download that, install it, and once you do, pull up FL Studio. Head over to Tools, I'm sorry, head over to Options, Audio Settings, and from this little box here, you'll have your primary sound driver, all these other sound drivers you may or may not have, but what the one you want is ACO for all version 2. Select that and go ahead and show your ACO panel. And from here, if you select this little wrench here, it will bring up this advanced panel. Go ahead and select all the sound drivers you'll be using. Right now I'm using my default Realtek High Definition Audio Sound Card on my computer for this tutorial. I also have a Tascam interface, but since it's not plugged in, to the USB port it does not show up. So go ahead and select these little thingies here and that will turn those inputs on for you. And once you do that, go ahead and close it, set the buffer size appropriately so you don't get any pops. And once you're done with that, you're set to record. To record an FL Studio, select a mixer track. We're going to select insert one right here. And if we go to in where where it says none next to it, Click that box and select your input. I can choose from here, I can choose HD audio line input 1 and 2 for stereo recording, or I can choose just 1 or 2 for mono recording. So I'm going to go ahead and choose line input 1. And, and as, as you can see, see there's a little, little delay. delay. So, so what I'm going to do to fix that is if we bring our mouse, woo! I sound mystical. Okay, okay. If, if we bring, bring our, our mouse, mouse down, down to this knob and turn it down, it keeps that audio from being sent to the master mix which gets sent to your speakers. So just bring that down and you can start recording. All you have to do to record is either record into a pattern or into a song. For this one we're going to record into a song and it's going to be playing in our playlist. All you have to do is hit the record button and up comes this box. In this box, you can choose to record audio into the Edison Audio Editor or Recorder, and that's just FL Studio's Edison Audio Editor, which you can use to edit audio, record audio into it, and all that stuff. But we're going to record audio into the playlist as an audio clip, and this is going to allow us to bring audio directly into this little playlist over here. So. As soon as we click that, we're going to get four clicks, and then we will start recording. Okay, that was really ridiculous, but check it out. And that's all there is to recording. Pretty easy. And you can do it again. All you have to do is select your mixer track, hit record, and choose audio into the playlist as an audio clip again. Okay, so that was equally retarded, but when we recorded, we recorded them on top of each other. You can see them separate, separate audio files here in the playlist. If we hit play. Okay. 
Okay, that's kind of annoying and kind of stupid, but you get the idea. You can plug your guitar into your input and record that way, record your voice, record drums, record whatever you want. And what's really cool with the FL Studio Mixer is you can select each track and choose different inputs. So I can choose Audio Line Input 2 and hit Record, and it will record both of these tracks simultaneously and create two different audio files for them so you can mix them separately. Pretty cool, don't you think? That about wraps it up. This is probably my shortest tutorial so far and my second tutorial so far. If you're enjoying these tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. There will be plenty more about automation clips. I'm going to be doing some EQing basics, piano roll basics, compression basics, piano roll slide, and all just tons of other stuff. If you have any ideas for a tutorial you would like to see about recording in general or specifically about FL Studio, send me a comment, a video response, a message, whatever. Let me know and I'll do my best to make it for you. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, this has been an FL Studio tutorial. I hit the wrong stop button. All right, there we go. Stop!